Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wanneroo Business Association's online information session ahead of the City of Wanneroo Business Awards 2022. So for those of you that are watching the session today, I might recommend grabbing a pen and paper so you can make some notes as I run through the session. Um, I'll introduce my second, myself in a second, um, but there's a couple of functions of the platform I wanted to run through for those of you that are watching live today. We have the Q&A option as well as the chat. So any questions that you have, please post them through, but I will be addressing them at the end so that I can get through all the information and have the recording available to those of you that are watching at a later stage. So thank you for joining us live. My name is Lauren Bell, General Manager of Wanneroo Business Association, and I'm here to take you through the process of entering the Business Awards. So you're taking the time today to find out a little bit more about what's involved. I hope by the end of the session today, you'll be a little bit clearer on how you can move forward with preparing your entry. So today we will be covering off a little bit of an intro to the awards program for those of you that aren't familiar with the City of Wanneroo Business Awards. I will quickly run through the eligibility for businesses to be able to enter and then anybody that doesn't qualify is able to um, get some time back in their day. I will be running through the business awards categories that we are running with for this year. There are 12 categories that you'll have to have a think about. I will cover off the application process in terms of what that involves for you in preparation, some of the um, sections of the process. I will cover off um, the business awards judging and how we um, choose those and also how they mark the entries and what they're looking for. And then I'll do a quick summary at the end with some entry tips about submitting your entry, how you can do that, where you can do it, and also cover off some key dates for your diary. So hopefully you've grabbed your pen and paper and you're ready and waiting. For those of you that are live, feel free to pop some chat into um, the chat box so that you can speak to each other and introduce yourselves. Um, but otherwise, we will get started. So I will start with a bit of an introduction. So the City of Wanneroo Business Awards were established in 2003. So we do have quite a his historical Hall of Fame growing year on year in terms of finalists, winners and runners up. They are organised by the Wanneroo Business Association and they're heavily supported by the City of Wanneroo and other local sponsors and stakeholders because of how important the programme is to the local area. They are the only opportunity within the City of Wanneroo region to gain recognition for business excellence, but it also gives the business community an excuse to get together and celebrate achievements. You know, being in business, it's tough, it's hard, and it is important that you take time out to celebrate where you've actually come and, how, and what you've achieved. So eligibility, hopefully we don't lose any of you here. Hopefully you already know that you do qualify, but we do have some strict eligibility criteria so that we can manage the entries that we do receive. First of all, the business does need to have a registered ABN. This can't be a concept or an idea that you're floating out there. It does need to be a business that can present and, and prove that it's trading um, in the application. You also will need to have been operating for at least six months and be based in the city of Wanneroo. Or if you're based outside the city of Wanneroo, you must have been a member of the Wanneroo Business Association for at least six months prior to the presentation dinner, which is going to happen on the 4th of November. So to confirm, the business awards are open to any business based in the city of Wanneroo. It's free to enter. You do not need to have Wanneroo Business Association membership status. But if you're outside the city of Wanneroo boundaries, then you will need to have been a member for six months. So hopefully that's, um, that's clear enough. So the business awards categories, as I mentioned before, we do have 12 running for this year. And of those 12, there's a couple that businesses can enter, but there's also two in there that will recognize individuals. Businesses can enter a maximum of three categories. So you're taking the time today to find out a little bit more and you're gonna go away and hopefully prepare a winning entry. We recommend you enter as many categories as you can basically to spread out your chances of winning. Obviously you wanna give yourself the best chance possible. And we do get a lot of entries into these business awards each year. So you can enter a number, a maximum number of three categories. You can also then put individuals in for the employee of the year award 
or business leader award in addition to those three categories. So bear that in mind as I run through the different categories. So grab your pen and paper as I run through some of these, make a note of ones that stand out to you and that you feel sound like they could be your business. These three, I guess, are the most obvious. These are the ones that are based on the number of employees within the business. This does not include the business owner. There's a separate one for an owner operator award for those of you that are running your business on your own with no staff. So you wouldn't be included in the one to five employee category. So first up, we have the one to five category. Um, I don't need to explain what, what that means, but that is sponsored by Training Alliance Group. We do have the 15 and over category for businesses that have a larger workforce, and that one is sponsored by Insight Advisory Group. And then the one in between those is for businesses with between six and 14 employees inclusively and recognises business excellence across the board. Categories continued. There's the Best Business Owner Operator Award that I mentioned before, that one's sponsored by Perth Now. And this one is to recognise businesses that have one person driving everything. I know there's a few of you online that would be you today. With no staff, no support, you're running everything. So it doesn't matter essentially how the business is set up. If you're the sole person running the business and you've got no one employed to help you, then you would qualify for that business. Next up, we have startup of the year. The cutoff for startup of the year is that the business has to have been trading for less than two years. And the date we use for everything is the awards evening on the 4th of November, if anyone is confused. Innovator of the year. This is a really interesting one and the entries we get in this category each year are pretty incredible. It can be a specific new product or service that has been designed to recognize a gap in the market, but it can also recognize just a different way of doing business. Um, we've had a lot of businesses that pivoted during COVID. So the innovation factor in the whole doing business scene is definitely something that people have had to work on over the last few years. So maybe jump on and have a look at some of the questions for that one. And if you feel your business might fit within there, it might be worth a shot. Continuing the categories for businesses that you can choose to enter. Remember you have a maximum of three of these that I'm running through. So hopefully you've made some notes by now. Customer service excellence by far every year is the category that gets the most entries because which business doesn't want to show that they've won an, an award for their customer service? So this category is sponsored by Rhodes 2000. Um, you do need to demonstrate situations where you have provided exemplary customer service, where you've gone over and above. So have a think about that and how that might relate to your business. Business technology excellence. This is an interesting category because it recognizes businesses that are using new technologies or software and systems. You might have automated parts of your business. Essentially, it recognizes businesses that are using technology is to do business better, I would say, um, to conclude through that. Visitor Experience Award. This one is sponsored by Discover Wanneroo. This one is only open to businesses that are based in the city of Wanneroo or for events that have been delivered in this area. So this category is new for 2022 and Discover Wanneroo are actually providing a sponsored photography package for the winner of this category. So there's an added prize and incentive to um, nominate for this category. So in addition to those categories that businesses can enter, as I mentioned earlier, we then have two additional categories for people to nominate individuals um, to the business awards. So one of those is employee of the year. So this is for businesses that might be going over and above with your customers. They might just make your life so much easier. You might be lost without them. Um, you, could you could consider putting them in for employee of the year. This one as well, this one is a new one. This is the City of Wanneroo Business Leader Award and it's new for 2022. This is going to acknowledge and recognize people that are leading businesses. Now it doesn't need to be the top level of leadership within a business, it could be a supervisor or a team leader that really is driving um, them, the staff members beneath them. But either the business needs to be based in the city of Wanneroo or the resident needs to be, the person needs to be a resident of the city of Wanneroo. So there's some additional city of Wanneroo geographical criteria on that one. 
This is also, this is the biggest award as well that is announced on the night at the presentation dinner. This award is not one that you can opt to enter. This is one that at the end of the judging day, the judges get together and discuss all of the entries. And if there is a business that's shining um, above the rest, they may choose to allocate the Business of the Year award to that business. So bear in mind that um, there is an additional bonus award that someone will come away with on the night that you haven't entered, um, but it's great to be recognised as, as the official Business of the Year. And this category is sponsored by Ertech Holdings. So let's move on to, I guess, the application process. You'll all be keen to find out what's involved for you to be putting together and working on to be able to enter. We do have um, a dedicated business awards website. I will share the link at the end if you haven't already seen it. All applications do need to be submitted through that website. Aside from having the chance to win or be there on the night if you're a finalist, the awards process does give you a really good opportunity to sit down and just pause and reflect on where, where you've come the last 12 months. Did you um, meet the targets that you'd set for yourself? Did you meet the goals that were, are you where you wanted to be? It gives you time to then reflect and pause and look ahead for the next 12 months and just reassess where you're at and um, rejig anything according to where you might want to be. So it is a really good process and we get comments every year from business owners and managers that put together the application and feel like they've accomplished something by just stopping and assessing everything. In terms of the application to enter the City of Wanneroo Business Awards, we do split this into two areas. So the first area is the standard criteria, which all businesses have to answer. It includes um, questions like what your business does, how you do business, how you've operated and how you've um, performed over the last 12 months, and then also looking ahead to what you would like to achieve in the next 12 months. So it's it's quite broad, but you want to make sure the business, uh, the judges understand exactly who you are, what your business does, what, what you stand for um, before you move into the category spe specific questions. The category specific award criteria are three questions related to the criteria you are, the categories you are choosing to enter. So once you've done your standard criteria questions, you have three questions to answer to enter each award, which is why we recommend entering as many categories as possible. So standard criteria, you'll see here that this section is split into three um, questions. You don't have much word count for each. So we try and keep it short on purpose so that you can keep it short and sweet, but make all your words count, I guess. So the first area is the business introduction. And quite simply for that section, you need to explain what the business does. So in this area, you should include a description of what your products and services are, how long you've been in business, who your customers are, where your business is located, where your customers are located, and how people can buy buy from you. 300 words is not a lot to do all of that, but keep it short and sweet. Business operations, again, a maximum of 300 words. This covers off how you do business. So think about speaking about how the business operates, the number of employees, the business structure, how the business carries out the different functions such as business development, marketing, how you provide high levels of customer service and also any key achievements that you might want to get in there as well. The last section of the standard criteria is business performance. So in this section, there's two questions with 150 words for each of them. So the, the overall, you've got 300 words again. You have 150 words to explain how the business has performed over the last 12 months. And then you have another 150 words to explain how the business or where you want the business to be in the, in the next 12 months. So it's looking back and then looking ahead. That is, that's it for the standard criteria. So in this section, you want someone to be able to read that and completely understand what the business does, who you are, where you're at from, um, based on the last 12 months and where you want to be in the next 12 months. If you wish to provide pictures, graphs, statistics, copies of um, marketing leaflets, things like that, you have the option to do so in a supporting document, which you can upload for the standard criteria section. 
but I highly recommend referencing the information on that document in your text, in your word count, so that the judges refer to it. Moving on to the category specific award criteria. So as I said before, for each of the categories you choose to enter, there will be three questions for you to answer under that category. Each of the questions have got 400 words each, so you've got a little bit more room to explain a bit more about the business and sell yourself in relation to the category that you're entering. And you also then have the option to upload a supporting document for the category. So as an example, if you are looking to enter the customer service award, you'll have three questions to complete about how the, how the business manages customer service, also to explain situations where you've gone over and above for a customer. But you might also want to share screenshots of your social media testimonials or your Google reviews or um, thank you emails, things that are a little bit more personal that will take a lot of your word count up. So for those, you could do screenshots, put them into a document and attach them as your supporting document. But in the text, I would be saying the business has um, 100 five-star Google reviews, please review the attached document for evidence. So you're encouraging the businesses to go and have a look at the extra information you've provided in there. So then for the individual award entries, as I mentioned before, these are, these are based on the individuals. So we will be assessing the individuals against each other to come up with the finalists. So for these two categories, for the Employee of the Year category and the City of Wannery Business Leader Award, there is no standard criteria to be answered. There's five specific questions about the individual, about their leadership style, their commitment to the business for you to complete. And again, that is the option to put some photos or certificates or any, anything like that into a document to upload as a supporting document. But any additional documents, they're optional for you to choose whether to upload or not. So the business awards judging. So we do have a panel which is made up of individuals from business, from academia, the Wannery Business Association board members, and also myself and Kelly and the staff here are not involved in the judging process. So we are here to coach you through the entry process, have a chat with you about which categories you might wish to enter, you might be undecided. Um, and the board members actually don't know the results until everyone does on the night of the awards dinner. So they're completely removed from the process um, and it's done separately through our independent judging panel. So on the day um, when judging happens, the judges are locked away for hours and hours it normally is eight till five full on day reading all of these entries marking them as they go and then opening up for discussion at the end of the day we simply allocate points to the sections that you're completing so the best way to think about it is you're getting points for each question that you answer so when you're reading the answer that you've drafted for the question make sure it answers the question now that sounds really really simple but Sometimes people can end up talking about other things and they go off speaking about things that aren't relevant to the question, but it's the question that you're getting the points um, based on. So please keep your answers relevant to the question that it's asking. Um, and I've put on the screen here how the um, points are broken down by allocation. So for the first three questions in the standard criteria, you get 30 points but your answers to your category criteria are going to be um, more heavily weighted, weighted because there's 60 points up for grabs there. As I mentioned before, moving on to how you can submit your entry, um, I have noted the awards website there. So when you go to awards.wba.asn.au, you will see a nominate button at the top. You simply click on that where you'll be able to start your application. Um, you will be asked to upload your logo, um, your basic contact details, your website, um, your ABN, these types of business, um, business details, as well as a promotional photo um, to attach to your entry. So this could be a picture of you with your products. It could be a picture of the team outside the office. It could be a picture of your, your van. It could be absolutely anything. 
that photo is used on the night of the business awards if you um, are, end up being a winner. So hopefully you are, but we do use that content um, publicly on the night to give your business a little bit more exposure. Um, entries close midday, Monday, the 17th of October. For, so for those of you that are watching live today, you've given yourself plenty of time to start drafting up your entry, which is great. Entry tips. I think I've said a few times now, your best enter in as many categories as possible. This spreads out your chances um, of being announced as a finalist. Um, the judges do encourage you to be real and honest and share your story. Business isn't all about the wins and, and, and the highs. There's a lot of lows and challenges that you have to get through to, to stay in business and remain in business. So don't be afraid if you have had challenges in the past of sharing those because it's how you demonstrate you've overcome them that counts and that could make your entry stand out. As I said before, the word counts are strict. So you will get cut off online when you hit the maximum word count. So make sure you're clear and concise. You are not getting any points whatsoever for writing a grammatically correct university style essay. We want you to get your points through clear and concise so it's easy for the judges to read and they'll get a good insight into your business quickly. As I mentioned before, using stats, graphs, company brochures or flyers um, in your supporting documents for each of the sections will free up a, quite a bit of your word count. So make sure you reference those in your written answers to encourage the judges to click on the attachments that you have uploaded. One thing to note is that the online application form is somewhere that you should go when you have completed your application. You cannot save the online application. The application form doesn't take formatted text, so it's um, very much just basic text. You don't need to worry about colors or sizing or anything like that. Once you enter your information into the online session, all the entries will be formatted exactly the same. A quick note on the supporting documents, these shouldn't be any more than 10 megabytes. The um, website won't let you upload any more than that. And I would also clearly name and reference them, as I've said quite a few times in this session already. Because you cannot save the online application or print it, we have a Word document which is ready to go for you to start drafting up your entry. This can be downloaded from the website. What you can do is Start building your answers to the questions in that Word document, share it with colleagues, friends, family, go back to it. And then once you're happy with your finished entry, you just go online, complete the form and copy and paste your answers into the relevant boxes. So some dates for your di diary. We do recommend setting yourself an earlier deadline to submit. Obviously, using the website to submit, things happen with technology, your computer could crash, your Wi-Fi might go down, don't want to stress you out. But if you've set yourself an earlier deadline, you're not going to be panicking if you're half an hour, an hour late. And um, there's nothing worse than trying to submit something at 11.58 before the deadline and you're panicking because it won't go through. So give yourself plenty of time. We do not grant any extensions because we have a quick turnaround from entries closing to the business awards evening. So make sure you, you get your entry in on time. Finalists will be announced week commencing the 24th of October after the judging takes place. And then again, that date for your diary is the 4th of November for the City of Wannery Business Awards dinner. I did just want to give a quick shout out to our Business Awards sponsors so far. So there's a range of um, headline sponsors, category sponsors. We've got pre-dinner drink sponsors, live social media wall sponsors, and also our gift bag sponsors and event partners as well. We still have some sponsorship um, packages available. Again, these can be downloaded from the Business Awards website. So that wraps up my walkthrough of some of the um, main points about entering the Business Awards. Um, good luck. I have put the Business Awards website link on there again for you and a quick reminder to jump on and download the entry template from the Business Awards website, which will get you started because you cannot save or print your application online um, once you begin it. I am available. Um, obviously, the Wannery Business Association is available for any questions that you have about entering the Business Awards, um, but hopefully this will give you a bit of a start. 
on looking at which categories to enter and start planning on putting your entry together. So thank you all for listening. Any questions, please reach out to us and let us know. And best of luck. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.